As a result, Trey Yingst has the breaking news live from Tel Aviv. Trey. Yeah, hey, uh, we're, we're following some really developing stories right now. We can see air defense coming off of some areas near to Tel Aviv, flying through the sky. And when I look at the, and I'm just going to just stay with me here. I'm going to look at where these red alerts are, are on right now. There are sirens sounding right now in communities across Israel. We just saw another uh, some sort of missile interceptor fired off from an area around Tel Aviv. It is unclear uh, what, whether this is David's sling or the arrow system. It is not the Iron Dome from this location. Um, and I'm just going to step out of the frame here and see if we can, can see any of these interceptors go off here. But let's just talk about what's happening. There's a lot of red alerts right now that are and uh, reports of explosions heard near Beersheba. Okay, and right now you can see an interceptor coming off. I'm not sure if our cameras are able to pick that up, but that right there is the missile defense that is currently being used across Israel. We're gonna try to get more information on what exactly is being uh, fired here, but this is a clear indication that some of these Iranian drones or missiles have made it into Israeli airspace. The local channels right now that I can see are airing footage from inside Israel of interceptions taking place. They're also on the right side of Israeli channels in Hebrew. They have a list of the cities where sirens are currently sounding. And so, again, this is a really unprecedented situation. And I just want to confirm some information here before I report it to air, so just stay with me. Uh, and there are sirens that are currently sounding in Jerusalem and Demona. That is where the nuclear facility is for the Israelis. Um, so again, a lot of developments right now. This is the initial Iranian response to the strike earlier this month that targeted seven members of Iran's IRGC in Syria at the Iranian consulate. Uh, but again, this attack is starting to reach uh, Israeli territory. There are Israeli defense officials still meeting at the Kiria, Israel's version of the Pentagon, just a few miles from here, determining what the Israeli response against Iran will be. John. All right. So uh, very, very quickly, uh, Trey, you talked about the arrow system and David's sling. Uh, those are designed to intercept missiles or projectiles that are coming in from varying altitudes. Do I have that right? Yes, absolutely. So Israel has a tiered air defense system. The lowest tier is the Iron Dome, a system that was used over the past 190 days during the war between Israel and Hamas. This is a short range system. It was developed in uh, 2011 and it is used to shoot down rockets from places like Gaza and Lebanon. Then the system above the Iron Dome is called David's Sling. This is a system that is able to intercept medium and some, in some cases long range missiles that are targeting Israel. And then finally you have the Arrow 2 and the Arrow 3 systems. These are Israel's most advanced missile defense systems. They are used to shoot down ballistic missiles. Shahab missiles that could be fired by the Iranians. These are likely the uh, missiles that would be used if they take it to the ballistic category. But again, I want to be very careful with what we're reporting here in terms of the missiles that are being used. There is a, a major difference between cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. And so far, I have not been able to independently confirm that any ballistic missiles have been used by the Iranians. We have been able to confirm that a wave of attack drones was launched from Iranian territory toward Israel. There were also indications that the Americans shot down at least one of the drones that was trying to target Israel. And there are also reports that cruise missiles were used in this attack. Uh, but again, and I just want to read a little bit here as we're talking, John, because there are reports still at this moment of sirens sounding across Israel. And again, we could see some of this missile defense active from Tel Aviv. There were interceptor rounds that were coming off of the skyline, soaring through the air and headed toward the projectiles entering Israeli airspace. But the amount of sirens that are sounding across Israel indicate this was not an Iranian attack that was focused simply on military 
installations. And I also should note here, remember, and we just covered this, John, Israel's home front command only told people in the southernmost and northernmost parts of this country to be close to bomb shelters. There were sirens sounding in Israel's largest city of Jerusalem. There were also sirens sounding in Demona. This is close to Israel's uh, nuclear facilities. Uh, parts of the West Bank had sirens, Beersheba, uh, Israel's third largest city. And uh, these are still alerts that are coming in at this hour. Israeli channels, as we speak, John, are airing videos uh, from different parts of this country where you see air defense systems that are active. Uh, and excuse me for looking down here. I just want to keep you updated on the information that we are getting in. Iran says at this hour that they've concluded their attack. Uh, the Israelis will certainly not see it that way. Israel is still facing fire at this moment. Uh, these alerts are coming in onto my phone as we speak. Uh, red alerts, this is the system used to inform Israeli civilians of uh, rocket and drone attacks. And uh, they are still sounding at this hour. So we're talking about hundreds of thousands uh, and, and actually really more at this moment headed to bomb shelters and in Israel as a result of this Iranian attack. It is ongoing at this moment, and sirens continue to sound across this country as Israel's air defense systems are trying to engage these targets launched from Iran as part of this Iranian response to the killing of a top Iranian general earlier this month in Damascus, Syria. John. It is about uh, 10 minutes till 2 in the morning in Tel Aviv, where Trey is working. Uh, Trey, you're doing a great job. We thank you for that. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.